Okay, folks, back to round two. Um, kind of messed up on our first one, but that's all right. We'll get by. Um, what I did was I have my tenon that I already prefabbed and we went through all that great stuff on. Now, one thing I need, one thing I need to express to everybody that does this now, I'm sure you figured this out, but I'm going to say it just in case. Do not glue up anything. It is most imperative that we test fit and make sure everything is A-OK -okay before we move to the final solution. Um, sometimes people are excited. Sometimes people are in a rush. And this is what happens. Now, on the tenon, um, the prefab tenon that I made, they're, 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 they're nothing more than these. I mean, it's just a Delrin. It's just a piece of Delrin measured to a finite or definitive. In this case, it's, uh, this is 5 sixteenths or 3 eighths. It's cut and then it's threaded. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that this end is all set to go or the threaded end is set to go. Um, they do require a little bit of tinkering. Nothing is carved in stone. So as it turned out, I test fitted it and we were about probably a whole quarter of an inch above the mortise. So we wanted to make sure that it was a good fit. So I went to the sander, took a little bit off, and now we're going to test fit. And as you can see, she sits really nice into the mortise um, and she's all set to go now what we'll do behind the scenes and i won't bore you with all of this is of course we will epoxy it the threads in place so it stays put a little word on epoxy um there are things that people like to use um to put tenons in and to make things stick and again there is no right answer this is just what works for me and a lot of people like to use um, CA glue and that's okay too um, you don't get as much work time in my opinion as you do with like an epoxy now when it comes to epoxy I use um, JB weld and the reason why I use it is because I like the work time I get. It's a quick setting. I mean, within 10 to 15 minutes, we're all done. Um, but I do get some time to work with it. And also, when you mix it, it's black. So it matches and blends right in with the joint at the tenon and the stem. And little or nothing is seen when you clean it correctly. Um that's basically it there is nothing to this people um what i have found in my experience is it comes down to making sure that you are tooled up to do the job correctly um any full-time pipe repairman that's worth their salt and i mean people like tim west floyd norwood george debos um, anybody who's doing this full time, um, I hate to say it, and a lot of people like to get into the artistry of pipe making, and it is an art, but when you're doing this full time, time is money. And the sooner you can get something done, and the sooner you can get it done correctly, the sooner we all get paid. Uh, bottom line. And, um, you too can get set up. There's nothing to it. Um, I found that the way of getting tooled up correctly is to ask a lot of questions and trial and error. Um, there's no way around it. So this is it completed. And we will get this glued up and buffed up and polished and back out to the owner. Um, I want to say that the entire repair time was pretty much actual time that you saw on the video minus maybe 
15 minutes. So we'll call it 45 minutes to a half an hour and we're done. And again, I appreciate you dealing with me and my monotone voice and, um, you know, sometimes w watching me is a project in itself. But um, I do thank you for your time and have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. I'll see you.